I'm Katie McDonald. Thank you for joining me again here at the Rialto Hotel and my home base, Veneto Lounge. Today we're going to be focusing on a drink that is the Manhattan. I'm doing a variation, so anytime I vary or do a variation to a classic, I like to change the name and so that people don't presume that they are getting that classic traditional drink. So I've coined this the Mad Hatton. The first ingredient I'm going to use is bullet bourbon. Like we talked about in one of my other drinks, the Jenkins, every spirit can take on a profile of its own, even within the realm of bourbon or gin or vodka. Bourbons can be quite sweet, they can be caramelly, they can be vanilla or smoky in the case of bullet here. And that's why I've picked that, because it's going to pair well with our other ingredients. The next ingredient is a Vaya sweet vermouth. I'm using a half ounce of that. I picked Vaya because I find some of the other sweet vermouths, like Cinzano, can be quite sweet, overwhelmingly so. So I wanted something that would bring out sort of a rich cherry flavor and make a well-rounded drink. Traditionally, we use Angostura bitters in a Manhattan, but like I said before, this is a Madhattan. So we're going to use something a little mad. Chocolate bitters. I'm using two different kinds because, like with the bourbon and the gin, bitters take on a whole profile of their own as well. And these are very different bitters, both very good in their own realm, but they're adding two different flavors and dynamics to this. The final element that we're going to add to this that can make it quite mad is a chipotle chili pepper. I love hot food, but I also love a well-balanced drink. So I try to keep it to a minimum on the chipotle end in the drink. So just the tip is fine. Again, smell our drink, make sure all our ingredients are in there, and that we're working with what we want. Add ice to the drink. There are all clear ingredients in this, so you can stir. We don't need to emulsify anything like a lemon juice. The chili will work in just fine, because any chipotle chili comes in a brine, and that's what's really going to get in there. Don't worry if you make a mess. We all make a mess. It's part of the fun of cocktails. We can single strain this because we haven't stirred too vigorously, so there shouldn't be any ice chunks. And the little chunks of the chipotle aren't always a bad thing, depending on how hot you like your food or your drink. Manhattans are often garnished with cherries, but because of the difference in this uh, variation and the chocolate focus, a chocolate cherry will do just fine. There is my Manhattan, my variation of the Manhattan. Perfect. At least I like to think so. I'm Katie McDonald, and check out some of my other drinks, like the Ramos Gin Fizz variation and the Jenkins for Art of the Cocktail.